Hi everyone, welcome to another drugstore lip product review, swatch, and first impressions video. This is going to be from Maybelline's brand new Color Sensational Ultimate Slim Lipstick line. It has just started to become available. Please see the description box. I will link to where the most affordable price to find this online is, which is currently either Walmart or Amazon. On both of those places, they retail for $6.99. Eventually these will be available your local drugstore, places like Target and Ulta, but also is always much more expensive than Walmart and Amazon. These have been released in 10 different colors. I have all of those to show you, so I will swatch them, give you a color description, apply them to the lips, and then give you a first impressions review of the formula and how it wears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also follow Laura Beauty on Instagram. I will announce today, or have already announced who the winners of last month's skincare, makeup, and accessories giveaway was, and if you want to be eligible for those, make sure you always check in. I do a mid-monthly video. That's a PR unboxing new makeup and giveaway video. And I always give away a bunch of the products that I show in the video. And one reminder, if you haven't checked out the last video, that was also a drugstore review. That was for L'Oreal's brand new infallible foundation, but in powder form. So I did a full day wear test and review of that too. Go check that out if that is at all of interest to you. Maybelline says that these deliver more intense color with an extreme matte finish, but a comfortable lightweight feel, which I know all of us, especially with mask wearing, we're not really as interested in wearing lip colors, but if they can be long wearing, resistant and comfortable to wear, then that might entice us to be interested in them. Maybelline describes this as having a lightweight blurring formula made with high impact pigments. And they also say that the formula is non-drying. So let's keep those claims in mind as we go through swatching them. Just wanna let you know, I injured my right hand, which is my dominant hand. Um, so if it looks strange or if I'm swatching these a little weirdly, that is why it's getting much better, but I just don't have full mobility on there yet. And I do have some kind of unsightly things, um, but let's get looking at the packaging here. I really like the slim packaging on these. I like that the uh, tubes are colored according to what you're supposed to find inside with the actual product. The caps snap off and it's nice that these are just twist up. And for the price, you're gonna get 0 0.06 ounces or 1.7 grams of product. Lastly, the color numbers and names are found on the bottom of the tube. Shade 099 is called More Berry. And I would describe this as a deep berry wine shade. Shade 199 is More Ruby. And this is more of a strawberry toned red shade. 299 is more scarlet. And this one is a much more orange based red. 399 is more magenta. You know, despite the name, I would not describe this as magenta at all. This is, I would describe this more as like a carnation pink, maybe on the deeper side of carnation pink. $4.99 is more blush. This one is more like a standard middle, slightly yellow based rose pink with slightly dusty quality to it too. $5.99 is more mauve. Seems to be a little bit of discoloration in that tube. And this is more of a purple, a dusty purple toned or purple undertoned pink. $6.99 more buff. And this definitely is a lighter quote unquote nudie pink. Still has a slight gray undertone running through it. $7.99 is more taupe. I don't know if I would describe this as taupey. I mean, it's definitely a deeper quote unquote nude with a kind of brown, maybe taupey quality to it. $8.99 is more rust. And this does definitely have a very warm quality to it. 
So I think rusty red would be appropriate. And $9.99 more truffle. So I accidentally nicked this swatch, so I just redid it off camera just to let you know. So this last shade is a gray and brown mixture. All right, there are your 10 shades from the range. They all have a creamy quality to them, very strong and opaque coloration. We'll see how they sit on the lips. These don't claim to be smudge resistant or even super long wearing, but I just wanna give you an idea. They definitely have a creamy topping to them. Um, and so they're not gonna be smudge proof. But they feel very nice on the surface. And let's see what kind of staining we get. More resistance to the makeup wipe. Yeah, I would expect some staining on these brighter and deeper shades. So here are my thoughts as we go through each of these shades applied to my lips. The formula is very comfortable. There's maybe a little bit of tugging because it is a matte formula. So it's not like a lip gloss where it's just gonna slide across your skin, but it is a very creamy matte formula and it does feel kind of effortless and lightweight while sitting on the lips. There's no active drying that I experienced from the formula, which is good. You get that powdery matte finish. All of these colors are well pigmented. They're not one swipe, and so you do maybe have to do a couple or a few different passes to get a completely opaque even layer, but they're practically speaking fairly opaque. Interestingly, there is fragrance added at the very end of the ingredients list, but I don't detect any scent when I wear these or apply them. And in fact, I had to really get my nose up close to the tube and concentrate on whether I could smell anything to detect the fragrance that's been added. So overall, I think the claims by Maybelline are true. This is a matte formula that is comfortable to wear and lightweight feeling on the lips. So if that's what you're looking for at a very fair price, this will fit the bill. I don't know that there's anything innovative or particularly special about either these colors, the finishes, or the formula. So in that sense, if you already have an arsenal of comfortable matte colors in your collection, then I don't think there's any real reason to run out and buy these. But if you are looking for that, then I think these are really nice. They're slim, easily fit in a purse, and the formula is great. Let me know in the comment section below if there was any particular shade that jumped out to you. I think my personal favorite of the 10 is More Ruby. That's number 199. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, you can leave any other thoughts that you have in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and stay tuned for the next one.